birthday to my dreadlocks. I can't believe it. I've had my dreadlocks for four years. It's four years ago. I was so nervous just running around in my apartment about to call the salon that I wanted to help me start them. And I just remember how nervous what I was. And after I had called them and we had like picked the date and everything, I was just so excited. I was jumping around like, yeah. Often when people like contact me about my dreadlocks and whether to get dreadlocks or not because they're nervous, people often ask me, um, but what if I change my mind? I'm so nervous that I don't like them. Those thoughts weren't in my head four years ago. I was just like, I would just really want to have dreadlocks. Um, and so here I am four years later. I haven't regretted it just not even one day. It's like four years have gone by and I'm just more happy with them than I've ever been. So in this video I'm going to react to some of the first pictures of my dreadlocks like from the very beginning we're gonna take a look back I have my external hard drive here and I haven't picked out any photos before I started filming so we're just gonna pluck that into my PC and I'm gonna see what, I'm, what I'll find um, so let's get started I have my new computer here and we'll see what we're gonna find so I have it plugged into my computer now and I think I got my dreadlocks in 2013, didn't I? I must have. So, let's see. I got my dreadlocks in May. Let's find the map for May. So this is one of the first pictures that I just found and it's from June 2013. And just consider how long and lovely my dreadlocks were at that point. The first thing that I noticed is that there isn't a lot of loose hair. Like now you can see I have so much undretted, non dreaded hair. I didn't have that back then. Then like everything was dreaded completely. Um, but they were long and beautiful and kind of thin at the same time back then. Just this next picture here where I have my dreadlocks up in a bun. Just see how thin my dreadlocks were, like, down here. Um, they were incredibly thin when I just had them, like, started. And you can also see how messy they were at, like, the bottom. They weren't really, like, dreaded yet. They were just babies. Um, I don't know. Back then I loved this photo so, so much. Um, it's still a cool photo. It's not it. It's just really funny to see how different my dreadlocks were back then. I still remember how tight they were when I first got them and then over like the first couple of weeks they really started to loosen themselves. Like the first three nights that I had them done I couldn't sleep on my head. They were so tight to my scalp that it just, it was hurtful. Like that wasn't comfortable at all. Um, this picture is from a walk and they were two months old. You can still see how thin they were back then. And also, you can see how young and messy they were. Um, my dreadlocks are still very messy, but it's it's kind of a different messy. Um, because here at this point, they're just babies. And if we move on to this picture, it's the most popular picture that has ever been taken of me. I've like seen it everywhere online, on Pinterest and, you know, all of those pages. I've seen this picture. It was from a photo shoot that my sister and I were doing in my old apartment um, and it got really popular. A lot of people really like the look of my dreadlocks at, at this point. Um, they're still like baby dreadlocks, two months old. You can see how messy they, they are or my, how messy my hair is at like the roots. Um, but they're so thin at this point and still they're at a stage where you had to do kind of a lot of work to keep them dreaded. It's just funny that so many people really like this picture. Also, when I look at it now, I'm like, where are my eyebrows? Because back then I didn't really think about the fact that I have such light eyebrows. Like, I, I dye them and everything now. It's so weird to see. Um, but I look kind of happy, so maybe that's why people really like it. Okay, so let's see if we go to 2014. If we go to when they were almost a year old, 
I think you'll be able to see such a big difference. I'm um, just going to see if I can find a picture where they're like clear. On this braided picture you can see they are almost a year old and you can see that they have become more of like dreadlocks on like the top part and then when it goes down to the extensions that I had put in they're almost not even there anymore. It's just hair, it's not dreadlocks. Um, so that's kind of weird to see but they are starting to look much more like dreadlocks now. Um, a lot more like just thick and round, like the shape that dreadlocks are normally in. Um, the first year they were a lot more like loose and just like normal hair. So if we go to a little further to like fall time, they are really looking messy. Let me show you this picture. I don't know if I've ever shown you that before. Um, but you can see that they are kind of big and messy on this one. Um, I'm sitting in a room in my mom, uh, my mom's old house and I can clearly see that my sister did my eye makeup because it looks kind of cool. But at this point I think I had dyed them with henna to make them even more like strong red. And you can see that it's kind of messy, it's very like big and messy on my head. But I actually really like this look, I look like, I don't know, I just, I don't know, I, I think it looks cool. I don't know about you guys. And I have more pictures from that time. Here's another one where we shot an outfit post. I really like this dress. I found that thrifting. Really think that's beautiful. And you can still see that my dreadlocks um, are more dreaded up here. But then down here they're still like very thin and kind of goes out to just normal hair. Um, what you can see now. They are pretty much dreaded all the way down, except from just a couple of centimeters by the tips, but they are like dreadlocks all the way down. So now my dreadlocks are two years old and I decided to dye some of them green. I was so bored and I had to like change something um, and decided to dye the tips green. You can also see that my eye makeup on this picture with moans or cat or old cat um, looks crazy. I'm so black around my eyes. Um, but yeah, you can see my green, green hair and you can also see that I have some white paint in them. Uh, apparently I had done some kind of paint job at that time. But yeah, it looks really different, I would say. And you can also see my dreadlocks have been shrinking so much and I've probably also decided to cut out a lot of the extension at this time. Um, I remember that it kind of annoyed me that they were so thin and it was not even like dreaded or anything, it was just weird. So at the end I decided to cut them off. But at this time they're still changing. Um, they're still getting more dreaded up here and still getting shorter. Um, but they are still just in the process of getting dreadlocks and you can see here like they're two years old and they're still a work in progress like they're still far from like mature dreadlocks. Uh, I have another picture here from the summertime uh, 2015 um, and you can see most of my green dye is actually out here. I have some leftovers um, on like spots of the dreadlocks. They're completely gone now but at this point I was just trying to get out that green dye. Um, I'm gonna put the video down below in which I dye my hair green if you want to see it. Um, it's kind of funny because it's such an old video and everything's just so different back then. But yeah they were still a work in progress definitely. So let's move on to 2016 which was a year ago just to see how far I've come at that point. Um, they were now three years old. Oh I think we should, wait a second, I think we should take 2015 around Christmas time because this was the time that I put in my extensions I think. I have a bit of extensions, extensions added down here because as you know dreadlocks shrink, shrink so much um, and they pretty much keep doing that. You can see mine kept doing that until they were three years old and that maybe they are still doing that. Um, so in 
2015 in October my dreadlocks were like this um, in my natural hair color as you can see they look kind of my like my natural hair color now and my dreadlocks actually look kind of kind of like what they are now as you can see um, I really think they do they're just pretty short so do I have another picture let me just see if I have one from December I think this one with the with the black or purple lipstick it's one of the last pictures before I put in the extensions but you can see also I started to um, go after this like loose hair and dreadlock look so at this point I, I had probably started brushing out some of my dreadlocks um, maybe at this point I had brushed out six or seven and now I've brushed out about 12 dreadlocks I have like 50 left I think um, but you can see that my dreadlocks are dressed like they are pretty mature but they're just kind of short and I remembered how much I missed having these long dreadlocks as I did in the beginning where when I just first got my dreadlocks um, I thought that was so beautiful and so lovely I just it's a thing I've had since I was like a kid I remember when I was a kid and my sister and I we had these scarves that we could use to like dress up and I always used to tie them around my head and pretend that they were my long hair so it's the thing that I've always had I always had a thing for like long hair um, here I have a picture from behind where you can see my locks and you can actually see that they are again they are pretty mature they were just really short so I decided to put in dreadlocks extensions at the end of December yeah here is one of the first pictures that I took with the extensions in uh, I think I tried to like reconstruct the picture we saw before that was so so popular online I think I tried to like reconstruct that it's kind of the same vibes that I was going for here uh, I don't know if I ever posted this anywhere actually but um, I was so happy with my extensions back in December 2015 um, I was just so happy to have long dreadlocks again and then in 16 they pretty much look the same let's see April 2016 I have this picture of me laying on the ground on a blanket that I've never posted anywhere and that's from 2016 April so just about when my dreadlocks were turning uh, three years um, and you can also see this process of getting more and more loose hair um, is still like going strong at this point but pretty much all the way through 2016 they pretty much just looked the same um, I think the only thing Thing that really changed throughout the last year is that I've brushed out more and more dreadlocks in the front of my head um, a lot of people have been asking which dreadlock I've brushed out it's pretty much all the way around like the front of my face like everything here in the front I've pretty much brushed out so when I do like this so when I sit like this it's obvious that a lot of people think that the upper part of all of my dreadlocks are normal hair but they aren't like everything that's dreadlocks is threaded all the way up but I've brushed out so many in the front of my face so um, yeah I can't believe that four years have gone by and this is my dreadlocks I still have them I still love them so I'm gonna end this video uh, hang on if you just want to see some close-ups of how my dreadlocks are looking now um, but yeah, my dreadlocks for four years. I've had them for four years now. If you're looking for more dread related videos, I have plenty. I'm gonna put my dreadlock playlist under this video in the description. I've made so many videos through time um, about dreadlocks, about my dreadlocks. So leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I am hoping for another year with my amazing locks. Uh, I truly really love them at the moment. I've never been as happy with them as I am now. So. To those of you who are like, will you brush them out soon? I won't. Not not this next year. I don't think so. Um, but you never know because I am a very impulsive person. So maybe one day I'm going to wake up and be like, no more. <laughs> and then it's going to happen. But I am at this or in this very moment, I don't think it's going to happen. But leave that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And if you think dreadlocks are amazing. And 
Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it and this was very long, I'm sorry, but I hope you enjoyed it and yeah, stay tuned if you just want to see some close-ups and bye guys.